Hi right, guys, Dave at Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing out there? Now this video is going to be a little bit of a curiosa, just a little bit of uh, fun and games out in the woods. Now I'm sure you're probably aware of something called punk wood, which is basically dried rotten wood, which is extremely flammable. Now this is my bench, this large, I think, I do believe it's an old oak, which is what I sit on, on my nearly permanent camp. And uh, I made a surprising discovery today, and that is, it's one huge punk wood. And I can actually set fire to this entire log with a ferrocene rod. You wanna see it? I know I wanna see it. Let's light this giant punk wood with a ferrocene rod. I've already done this once today, that's why you see black bits here. And I actually put water on it to put it out. Uh, so it probably won't burn there, but up here, it's still dry. See that one there? Okay, now we've got it going. Let's put some more on it. Whoa. Now you can see, I'll zoom in in a second, but let me just point out, now you can see smouldering. There's one smouldering here. This is where the sparks from the first in rod have landed. There's one smouldering here. There's one here, one here, quite a few smouldering here. There's one smouldering here, there's one smouldering here, smouldering here, smouldering here, smouldering here. Now, this has got a couple of conclusions or a couple of implications. Number one, you can take from this that tinder does not have to be small. This is a huge old oak tree and I've set fire to it using a fair seam wood. Number two, that means punk fatwood, punk wood, sorry, is extremely good tinder and I'll be revisiting that in, in future videos in a smaller scale. Now you can see it's really starting to burn now. You see it smoking here? Real good smoking here, smoking here, smoking here. These ones down here have gone out because this is where I had to damp it down earlier on. Number three, this is my bench next to my fire, or my nearly permanent camp. This is not a very good choice for a bench because obviously Sparks can jump out of my fire onto this and cause actually a major blaze, which would be an extremely bad end to the day. Let's zoom in with the camera so you can see the actual fire taking place here. Okay, so look here, you can see those sparks of a fair seam rod have taken hold. It's actually created a, a coal here now, which is about one to two centimeters across, going down there. Let me blow on it. Hopefully you can see it smoking, but let me blow on it and you'll see it glow red. Look at that, an entire punk wood log set on fire with a fair seam rod. We've got another area here, about an inch across, this direction, this direction. So this has been burning just in the one minute 30 seconds it's taken me to make this video. Look how much it's expanding. Let me blow on this one. Amazing stuff. And now when I notice a look around, we've got another coal developing here, here, and here. These ones I hadn't even actually noticed. So that spray of ferroseum has actually set fire to a number of places on this log. You can imagine, if this was a windy situation, this could be very, very hazardous in terms of a forest fire. Oh, I see a spot down there. We've got a first seeing bit that's gone into there and created a coal, it's burning. It's smouldering there, you can see the smoke there. I'll blow on these. If 
Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you are as uh, interested in this kind of thing as I am. I think it's fascinating that you can set fire to a huge log like this just with a ferrocene rod. And hopefully you'll be able to see, pick up on the camera all the smoke drifting off it now from down here to here to here to here. Of course, what can, yeah, a number of implications. Number one, a giant log like this that you might not first think is actually a fire hazard. Close to your fire, this is a significant fire hazard. Secondly, ferrocene rods are extremely good at setting fire to things. And thirdly, punkwood is an extremely good tinder. If you're a subscriber, thanks for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, check out a few more of my videos. If you like what you see, smash down that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. And make fire!